Hey guys, just a little preview of the video to come. So putting the double face tape on here uh, and the zip ties, the servo still moves more than I'd like it to when I'm turning the wheels. So what I've got going on is we got the, uh, the hot glue gun going and we're gonna attach the servo to that foam block using the uh, hot glue. All right, so I got my hackery zip ties removed off of here. Now I'm gonna pop off the double stick tape that I put on the servo, which actually stuck to the servo pretty well, but not to the foam block. It's probably actually made out of somewhat similar material, I would assume, but it's like the hot glue gun is ready. So I'm just gonna slather some glue on there. Get this baby put back into place. Make sure everything's straight like I want it. Hold it down, let it dry. I still may run a zip tie across it, just going across here, just to kind of hold it better. But yeah, I might do that because it's still moving a lot. Uh, maybe I just need more hot glue. I don't know. Uh, let's see how that took to the foam. I mean, I can't pull up on it, I guess. So it's doing its job. So yeah, maybe I'll run another zip tie across the pumpkin and across the top just to hold it. But uh, I think that will work. All right, so to show you what I did, I uh, did put a zip tie on here just for a little extra support. Um, but I glued the back of the block back here and the side of the block. And then uh, that along with the zip tie, it's a little more stable than what it was. And I think once it's under motor power, it'll be fine. So just having one zip tie on there is better than having uh, a bunch of them going a bunch of ways, I guess. And if this don't work, we'll go back to the drawing board and uh, start gluing some pieces or uh, taking some pieces of aluminum or something and making a plate for it. So anyway, that's where we're at with this part of the project. All right, so I'm going to try and get this thing uh, the ESC area as waterproof as I can. So as you can see, it's got these louvers in there. They're one-sided louvers, and then the battery tray area is down here. Uh, and it just so happens that a 7.4 LiPo will fit. So what I'm gonna do now is just take the glue gun again and kind of fill those in and around there. Sorry, I'm watching what I'm doing and not watching the camera. I guess I'll maybe edit that part out. All right, so now that's sealed off and uh, if I have to, I'll grind it off with a Dremel a little bit for, uh, to make it, uh, you know, even or sit level, but we're gonna glue the ESC and uh, uh, receiver on here next. So that's, uh, I think this will work to uh, keep it more waterproof and then we'll just run the battery wires through there. All right, so we've got the servo permanently mounted and I made this little plate here out of a uh, piece of stuff that I had laying around, a uh, little eighth inch, uh, it's almost like OSB kind of stuff. Uh, but uh, then I uh, got the motor wires connected. I soldered them and put the connectors on them and then I taped them up also just to uh, make sure that nothing happens there. Cut a hole here for the battery compartment uh, to run the battery wires through. And now I'm going to use some of this uh, 
expensive double face duct tape that I use at my guitar shop for holding templates and stuff to uh, the backs of the uh, ESC and the uh, control or the uh, receiver here and get all that stuff mounted. So that's where we're at with this right this second. All right, so as you can see, I've got, I can literally pick up on these with having that uh, heavy duty duct tape holding them down. Uh, still gotta figure out where I'm gonna put the switch and how to tuck all these wires in uh, because there's a spot here under the body and that's where all the, uh, like the LED lights and stuff connected, which I'll take that stuff out of the way so at least it's not in the way of it, but, Let's turn our switch on and turn the Fly Sky receiver on, or radio. Ooh. And as you can see, the servo's moving around. I'm gonna have to figure out something different for that. But that does work. And here, I'll pick it up, Grayson, and you hit the power. It's got forward, got forward and reverse. So I'm gonna call this a victory. All right, it's dark out and it's cold, but here's the first run of the Savage. I lost you, buddy. Got so much more power now running it on 7.4. We're gonna climb this up. Still gotta figure out what we're gonna do about that servo moving around. I'm gonna have to make some kind of a mount for it. But she runs. And we are going to end the video at that next time you see this thing we'll be out bashing it so thanks for watching guys have a great day